y dice Arcade Fire is getting set to perform in Haiti next week. The band has strong ties to the country and has been involved in humanitarian work there ever since the devastating earthquake back in 2010. Kristen Falco has more. Arcade Fire has a soft spot for Haiti. Vocalist Regine Chassang's family comes from the Caribbean island. They fled the country in the 60s and 70s in Montreal. Now she wants to give back. You can tell that the, the culture is strong and, and it's to be able to pull through all these disasters and, and turmoil, you have to be so strong. And Since the earthquake, the band has donated more than half a million dollars to the country. Chassang co-founded an organization in Montreal that works with a charity in Haiti. So far, they've helped more than 300 families to support themselves. The goal of all this is for uh, these families to be able to be financially autonomous at the end of the program. And last year, we just finished, last, uh, we just graduated those families, 330 families that graduated. Music is one thing the multi Juno and Grammy Award winners do best. They'll be in Haiti next week to perform at Carnival in Jacmel which is one of the towns hit hardest by the earthquake. Normally, only local groups take part, but Arcade Fire's latest album, Reflector, was heavily influenced by Haitian music. I was trying to push to make stuff more danceable, and uh, so we already had a few songs like that, but then when we came back from Carnival, I was like, okay, I know, let's go. I know what to do. It's just like, I know. So this, it's almost like the... The album is like an homage to Carnival. Arcade Fire performs in Haiti on February 21st. Kristen Falco, CBC News, Montreal.